Okay, folks, so what I've done is that I've just drawn the can that I was talking to you about earlier regarding sort of like the light and, and darks and how you could get uh, the darks by using its complementary colors. So if you look at the uh, range of pastels that I've used, that's pretty much it for the can. So I've used obviously like the light values for the light areas, but I've used this too quite a bit, but then um, they are really too cool for that can here. So I've gone in and warmed it up with some of these colors. And sometimes if like I, I mentioned earlier, if you go in and you put an orange color and it feels like it's too orangey, don't panic, don't freak out, you know, just add a little bit more of the cool yellow will knock down the warmth of that orange. And then if it's not enough, cool it down further with that off white. And then if you've cooled it down too much, then go back in and add a little bit of yellow orange in it to warm it up again. So it's a matter of just kind of like layering your colors, okay? None of this have been blended. Remember how it looked earlier? I've just basically now layered it. And this one still has very few layers, but there's more layers in here. And if you look at these shadow areas, first I tried like a warm violet. That means it's more of a red violet. And then I have in my hand here, it's a little dirty, but it's a cool violet. And I tried the warm violet and it was maybe a little bit too warm. So then I ended up using more cool violets. And some of the areas was not dark enough with the cool violet. So what I did was I went in and I took, this is sort of a brown, uh, I think it's a brown. Uh, so it, it, it's a brown color and I went in and I've added it. Now remember I said earlier, don't just reach out for your brown because you can get that sort of like desaturated color, that kind of brown color by mixing its complement, which is a, form, a violet. Either it's a warm violet or a cool violet. Again, I've used more of the cool violet, all right? So, but then I went ahead and added some brown on top of that to sort of knock back some of that value, make it a bit darker because that violet that I've been using, this cool violet is not dark enough. So that was a bit darker. So I went in and added to it and then I layered it with some more cool violets to, to get that sort of cooler shadow, all right? So it's okay to use brown. Just don't immediately reach out for your brown and put it in there because it looks like brown to you, that shadow, okay? Of, oftentimes, pick up the complement and add the complement to it. So it's not finished yet, but it's in the process. Uh, I can see like a very distinct core shadow. I've put that in there. There's some reflected light going on in here. So I've added some of that. But what you should do is step back, take a look at it. And I can tell just from sitting back and just looking at this drawing here, whatever that I've done, I probably need to pull it down a little bit more, make it a little bit darker here, and then make, maybe make that a little bit darker as well, this whole area here. In here, what I did was, it was a little bit brighter, now I've knocked it down, but I, you could go in with your off-white and add to them, really make that pop, but then realize that once you added that, it's nice, it's poppy, but it might be a bit too cool, no, no big deal, go in with your yellow and just kind of warm it up, okay? And still you can retain that strong, bright, uh, highlight area okay um, and so at this point step back check the values check the the temperature of your your light areas as well as the shadow areas and then adjust accordingly okay and what you want to do is that if you need to get some of the edges use the edge of your pastels remember if you rotate it see what happens here if you rotate it when you work with the pastel you will finally make a point and so you don't need to sharpen it with a uh, a blade, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it.